Okay. How do I test? You know what? We didn't test. It says I, I went live, but we really didn't test to see if it's actually true or not. So, uh, you logged in. So, if we go to my page, will it show us? I don't see me on my page. Mm-mm-mm. All right. It says go to my page and see if you. This might be our test run. <laughs> 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 we are Teddy Riley. <laughs> well, technically, oh, oh, okay, okay, we we live, we, we live. I see it, I see it. Uh, oh, how do I change this to? Oh well, no, friends is fine. Okay, okay, we live. All right, so. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and this is all of this going in the recording because it records everything. But anyway, so we watched Wonder Woman 84 because the trailers had us. So you know what the trailers had us do? Forget it was a DC movie. Absolutely. The trailers had us forget it was a DC movie. That's what it did. Like, you know, if somebody keeps punching you in the face. At some point, you got you got to stop questioning why they punching you in the face instead of questioning why am I standing here taking these punches? Hmm. 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 Anyway, let me tell you something. <laughs> this is because we're going to try and make this focus and not ramble as we are known to do. I wonder if you can see who all up in here. Now, how can you? Okay, listen, this is too much. But um, but if they leave a comment, we'll see. So if you're in here, say something because I don't know how to tell who in here. But um, so hello to, to the folks watching. But you know, really, I'm just I'm so tired of them. Them Patty Jenkins gets let me just say Patty Jenkins gets way too much credit. I mean, I guess in the move for and I say white feminism is they want to be equal to white men. So in that case, her mediocrity is allotted just as well as a white man. She is just as mediocre as uh Zack Snyder. She she has she has reached that level. Um so congratulations! So I congratulations! Guess. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and you I, know, um, I looked at her Twitter feed, and she said, "Don't spoil the movie for anybody, ma'am. You spoiled it for me when you made it." Ooh, so, ooh. my thing is this, and I titled this "Wonder Woman Deserves Better." And I, you know, I was scrolling and talking to people, and folks were like, "Oh, you know, it's, I like the first one so much better." And but when you kind of dig deep, it's because remember, and in fact, I was talking to and I'm gonna say her name out loud, uh, Gwyneth uh, Bolton. Uh, and she was like, uh, that's not the name she goes by anymore, but you know, we claim in her comeback. Uh, <laughs> but she was like, well, yeah, I liked Wonder Woman. She was like, you know, it wasn't great or anything, but it came out right after Batman versus Superman. So a co- base, when you compare it to that piece of trash, and I was like, right, Wonder Woman, people lauded and thought Wonder Woman's great because it was only co- comparative trash. They, like Wonder Woman, and this is what I was thinking about in this movie. And in case anybody has not figured out, this is all spoiler alerts. Um, Should have put that somewhere. Let me, so in case, uh, but, I was just thinking about this, and that is every woman, Wonder Woman and Cheetah's origin story is based on a man. Like she who Cheetah became who Cheetah was, her first, yeah, Cheetah became Cheetah because of a man. Mm-hmm. And that is really her origin story, from what I hear. It's um, not Wonder like Wonder Woman, even I told you my problems with the first Wonder Woman, like she's a fucking god. And she needed, you know, she's not enough. Like, and I, I purposely wore these earrings today. One, because I thought they're cute and they're a, a black woman on business. <laughs> so, you know, the hair wrap and this is black woman on business. But the earrings say, I am enough. And what Patty Jenkins refuses to do is know that Wonder Woman is enough. Not because she's a woman, but because she's a fucking god, a demigod, okay? Because she is motherfucking Wonder Woman. And almost everything about her in the first movie, when she went to attack the field of soldiers, the only way she was able to do it is because the other soldiers came in. It's like, yeah. And then they went in and she won the field. 
And my litmus test is what they do Superman like this. That's always my litmus test. What they do a white man like this. They and don't even the look at Batman like this and he ain't got no superpowers outside but, of being rich. But here's the thing. Because um, I'm a comic fan and, you know, I'm into the comics, read the comics. The man who created Wonder Woman created oh, her to be as powerful as Superman. And we have never seen that in the DC movie. media, in, in the movies. We haven't seen it in the movies. And today, because I needed to get 84 out of my mind, I started watching the Wonder Woman series with Linda Carter. And I'm like, she saved Steve like five times in the pilot. She saved him. He didn't. He never saved her. She saved and that's her. the thing. Like even in the, <clears throat> um, even in the first film, like he was never a <clears throat> damsel in distress. I'm choking over here. The Wonder Woman making me choke. <laughs> you're choking on mediocrity. That's what you're choking on. The mediocrity of what they've done to to one of the most powerful superheroes in the DC universe. That's why you're choking. Sip your water. Get your thoughts. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, and so we um yeah, I, I did lose my thought. Um and it's so male-centered. It is so male-centered. Like the first Wonder Woman, she did Wonder Woman, uh wrong because again she needed she needed man's help as a superhero as a wonder woman as a person whose father is a god she needed regular ass steve's help okay that's in the first one in the second one her or her the origin story of her fucking powers are based in trevor steve trevor mm -hmm. i'm like are you kidding me are you kidding me? I, I was texting you during the movie, like um, I was. Why am I yelling? I was texting you during the movie. You also um, did this after we talked about the movie. You was yelling, but I yeah, was. I was. You really was. I was. <laughs> my bad. Um, we did this. Do I'm still yelling, girl. Uh, but during the movie, I was um watching it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. So I was like, in the comics, wasn't Wonder Woman a pilot? Absolutely. Now on the TV show, she was a pilot. Absolutely. But maybe I was like, because, you know, when she was having that line, like, oh, I'll never understand. Like, her origin story in flight is because of Steve. And that's some bullshit. It, it's beyond bullshit. And every because... time they were together, she was always a passenger. She was always the side seat. She was never yeah. the lead. Because when there was the scene where they were in um, in the Middle East. They were in the car and he was driving. And my first thought was, why is he driving? He's already dead. Why is he driving? She is the okay. one that can stop the bullets with her bracelets. It, it's beyond sorry. Um, Every um, time they were together, she was always... Uh, okay, sorry. I'm trying to... Because uh, I see comments. They're not on the stream yard. We Teddy Riley right now. Uh, but <laughs> I would not wear that. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. We're not Teddy Riley. Okay. Our, our screens have not gone black yet. <laughs> oh, right. But I, I legit don't know how to show the comments. So I'm gonna read some. Kate. Oh, people just saying, Hey, Hey, yeah, I can't, um, uh, we should have done. Oh shit! We should have done a test run so I could figure out this common situation, which I cannot. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Um, but <laughs> they can see it, so we one out of two. Uh, but yeah, it was just it. Yeah, and here's the other thing: if he just got back from the dead, why are you trusting this man with a car? It was 1940s. The last time he was, so he just suddenly know how to. In another country? Yeah. You've exactly. been around and he ain't. But everything she did was taking a side seat. And we ain't even getting into the whole body possession thing. That was just such that had that was more of a plot hole, bad writing, bad everything. 
and we're not going to get into it because it was more, um, <clears throat> it was more, um, it was more of a, uh, it had nothing to do with Wonder Woman and more so like just titty writing. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you really wanted to put Chris Pine, but if you want to put but here's the whole thing: if you wanted to put Chris Pine back in the movie, you could have took a page from the TV show because in the TV show, the original Steve died, and his son was there when she came back in the seventies. You could have done that. It was well, already. Well, they, want, they didn't even have to do that. They wanted to bring him back. Just bring him fucking back without a body possession that you're not going to explain. But here's the other thing. And now I was mad about this too. When she, the invisible plane, like she always had the invisible plane. How does she figure out how to do it? She, she had figured out a little piece of invisibility in the past, I don't know, 40 years. But she figured, how did she do it for Steve? Oh, you know what? There's F, I forgot about the FCC or FAA or whatever. Uh, Radar. You know, you know, every everything about her was rooted in Steve Trevor. How the fuck do you have a movie about a woman, which we rarely get, and still manage to censor a man? You know, as much as I did not like uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel didn't need no man. Captain Marvel actually was... It was not great, but it was centered on her growth and how she grew and found out who she was without being tied to a man. And and I get because we talked about this, how superheroes falling in love shows their humanity. You know, we see it with Superman and Lois Lane. But this showed this made Wonder Woman a clingy pick me broad. And that's why I'm mad. I, <clears throat> yeah, it is. I figured out why it doesn't. I was supposed to make this post public for us to see the comments, and I did not. So it is what it is. Um, but let me see if I can change that in the middle of a podcast. I edited the privacy. Yes, I'm Teddy Riley. I'm in my 40s, and I'm just not. Hey, there go the comments, though. <coughs> oh, shit. I, you know how long this took me? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing the comments too. Yes, DC should have done better. DC could do so much better. And this is the thing about that I was actually having a conversation with somebody else earlier. When the Avengers came out, we generally, as a general public, we know who Iron Man was and all these other people, but even people that don't read comics, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, you know who they are. <clears throat> How do you mess up those movies continuously? Mm. Yeah. Like time after time after time. I just, I'm tired of them <sighs> applauding Patty. I am tired of them, like you said, you ain't never saw a Superman movie. You've never seen a Superman movie where Lois Lane was centered as to why Superman was powerful. You may have seen. Now, if you saw the original Superman movies with uh, Christopher Reeve, Superman 2, yes, he, you know, he gave up everything for her, but he still got it back without. Right. But it's still he all that he, stuff. He, he that it was, on his life, not. De deciding to live his life as not as a superhero and right. with those choices are it's still hit who he is as a person never was a, never. As, as a super as a superhero now and i always th i say love is so great that i think it is important to show um these people having great love interests because it anchors them in the world and anchors them in her their humanity it shows not just it shows their vulnerability which is needed to, you know, as a balance to how powerful they are. And I think that's why the more powerful you are, the more important it is for that love interest type of situation to occur. Like Superman is so powerful that he needs a Lois Lane, right? Um, I'm okay with Wonder Woman so powerful. She needs a, I was gonna say a Trevor Noah, girl, listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
she needs the Steve Trevor. She the does. Steve Trevor. <laughs> she needs that. <clears throat> but but she yeah. don't need to she don't need to be like your average Facebook chick that's like, I can't live without Steve. Oh my God, what am I gonna do without Steve? Ma'am, he's been gone for like 40 years and you haven't I mean, moved on. Listen, as somebody who's experienced lots of death, I don't have a problem with that part of the storyline. Um, people just don't move on like that. It's just, you know, especially if that was her. But, one but here's, here's the whole thing. We're, let's separate real life from how superheroes are portrayed in comics and movies. They have to move on because her thing she is move on. protecting the world. That part of the storyline because she did moving on doesn't mean emotionally you know, like I said, the great love is what anchors you to the world. So even losing it, like, and I, ain't like, you know what I mean? And if somebody lives forever, 40 years is a blip of time. 40 years is a long time for you as a human being. If you live for like a kabillion years, you know what I'm saying? It's a blip of time. She's been living on uh, Themyscira for I don't know how long. And ain't and never met a man in her life. She could have got over it. It could have been done a different way. Just the whole <laughs> it could have been done a different way. This out. <laughs> <sighs> Kathy agree. You see that she's a god, she don't need no man, but if she want them, that's different. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm saying I mean, is I don't have a problem with her having that great love. I have a problem with that being the reason for her powers. She's a god without him. And they can manage to show that about Superman. They can, again, I'm like, they treat Batman who ain't shit but a mediocre white man who everything... Hold up! Batman slander. Going too far. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got me messing with me. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all know this. Like, okay, Black Panther number one, but Batman has been my favorite superhero for a long time. And one of the reasons why I like Batman is because Batman is so human and he just don't give a fuck. No, and that's, that's why I white man shit. Batman yeah. is a man who has the resources to okay. fix the problems, but would we, rather be a that's, boat. That's another video. We talking about Wonder Woman right now. Right, we talking about, okay. Excuse me, excuse me. We gonna bring it back in, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just and I was so pissed about it that I sent you a text. I was like, girl, I was gonna do one of two things. I was gonna write a medium article entitled Something of the Sort that you know, um white white women benefit from the patriarchy, and Patty Jenkins is is that proof. And it was really just and I think it was something that was the longest title I had ever seen. In yeah, I, it's, and then <laughs> was, women are rewarded for participating in the patriarchy. Um and Patty Jenkins is a very classic example of that. Um, and I think I was just like, again, classic DC, every movie gets worse. But uh, I, Wonder Woman deserves better. She deserves to have her own story. She does. And here's the thing. She does have her own story. The but source material the big, is right there. But when they put her on the big screen, she... Cause I was even, they even, they did her, every time they have her, they do her wrong. Even in Justice League, which I talked about that with you. I was like, I don't understand she's a God. So why did the fuck that they need Superman? Like they literally damn they have parallel powers, but it was like, we can't do shit unless we have the white. Like Superman is a guy. In fact, in my mind, Wonder Woman is more powerful cause Superman is a guy on earth. Wonder Woman is a guy. Everywhere. Period. period Everywhere. In. Okay. And it's it's just like um like I said, the man who created Wonder Woman recognized this and made her as powerful or as much as a force as Superman. But here's the whole thing. Okay, I see you, Gwendolyn, rich white boy <laughs> with toy super fat man. Oh, Anyway, but <laughs> the whole thing was the creation of Wonder Woman was to create a woman that was as powerful as Superman, but she has never, that character has never been respected by the DCU. Now, like I said, because I needed to get 
that movie out of my head and HBO Max is streaming the entire Wonder Woman series. You know why? From, they knew that because was they knew that was shit. Mm-hmm. They knew that was shit. And this is a, this is another conversation that I had with another movie buff friend of mine about Tenet. Um, I haven't seen it. Nola, I haven't seen it yet either. But I do. I did buy the DVD, Blu-ray, and the digital code because you know that's Denzel's son. So. You know, I got to support my stepson. But anyway, it's like Christopher Nolan was so mad and so upset about them just streaming these big budget movies. But we didn't hear any of that about Wonder Woman 84. And watching it, it kind of makes me feel like this is why they didn't complain about it, because they knew that this was going to be another disappointing DC movie. And just like we talked about the other day, top five live action DC movies, Aquaman, Man of Steel, Aquaman, Man of Steel, <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> and for those of those, and we're going to briefly summarize that conversation because Sharice and I talk a lot about these movies. Every time, every time a comic movie comes out, me and Sharice be on the phone like, okay, uh, <laughs> y'all, we only share a piece of a conversation with y'all today. But what we talked about was uh, I rewatched Man of Steel recently, and I was like, "This is good writing." And um, I, I think I appreciate. I think I enjoyed it the first time, but I was like, "Oh, this is pretty good." And then we said Aquaman was, you know, first off, the Dolph Lundgren thing was cool. Uh, I'm one of those people that can watch Jason Momoa on YouTube. So, you know, that was. Uh, but it was visually stunning and it was a fun little journey film. Um, by no means has DC put out a great movie Mm-mm. ever. And I don't think that's their goal. I think they're trying to see how shitty they could be. They're, like, whereas Marvel is trying to go, how great can we get movies? DC's like, I'll double down the opposite way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's why Zack Snyder still has jobs because. His movies are never coherent. I mean, when I said on Facebook today that Catwoman was better than uh, Wonder Woman 84 and people agreed with me, and that, was so, that, that was it. That was it. Everybody know that movie was trash. Catwoman was trash. And I love Holly Berry. I ain't even gonna lie. I love Holly Berry, especially since she's dating one of my favorite singers right now. So I, she with Van Hunt. She with Van Hunt, girl. I'm looking like she's living her best life. <laughs> but yeah. Catwoman was a was Catwoman should have been the reason why we never watched any more live action DC movies. <laughs> <laughs> because that movie had nothing to do with the when you do a comic book movie and you have the source material there, and I know as a writer, we're both writers, okay, you want to create something new, but when you have canon that everybody knows, even a casual watcher or reader of comics, they know there's no, there's really no Catwoman without Batman. So you just created this whole character and just said, hey, we're going to throw Catwoman on her because she got leaked by some cats. Listen, that's when we should have broke up with DC right then. But yeah, pretty much. Because I'm like, again, Catwoman could have been a good movie had they, I don't know, they had better everything. (laughs) Just better everything. Just read one comic book. (laughs) Had some better CGI. I mean, it's a lot of, I mean, But anyway, back to Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, I just what is they diminish her. They yeah, diminish so. her at every they diminish her power, they diminish her story, they diminish her greatness, they diminish the wonder and wonder woman, they diminish mm-hmm. and it's it's they diminish that she's a god. They diminish everything about her and they don't censor it. And I find that highly problematic for just who Wonder Woman is, it's problematic in that they would never, ever do that to any male superhero. 
I find it problematic in that it's a slap in the face to every person my age or older who grew up watching Linda Carter. I think it's a slap yes. in the face to all the girls because we don't, as women, we don't get a lot of superheroes, period. As women, we don't get to see a lot of superheroes on screen, period. And so when you get this great canon, when you when you get this opportunity and you say we're going to give it to a woman and as a woman and and I'm treating her more harshly because as a woman you know you have failed to do the minimum required which is just to bring who Wonder Woman is to the screen to the screen exactly you you take pieces of her away you take pieces of who she is and then you say, well, we'll give this man the power to give it to her. And that ain't right. That's not right. And and I said <clears throat> today, I don't even want DC to make a new be a movie. And I mean, if, if <laughs> anyone, anyone who's not familiar, Nubia is Wonder Woman's black um, twin sister. I don't even want to see that. If they gonna make it, make it an animated movie because the Wonder Woman animated movie that DC made and DC is perfect with their animated movies. That I Wonder Woman that. movie that they made, that animated movie is a better depiction of Wonder Woman than we got from the two Patty Jenkins movies. She was, she was, you know, the, the, the <clears throat> origin story is still there. She's the princess of the mascara. She wants to go into the man's world. But when she gets into the man's world, she doesn't lose who she is and what she has. But that's what is lost in these live action movies. And I'm tired because I love Wonder Woman. I mean, I went to a local comic convention. I was dressed as Wonder Woman. My homegirl, Erica, was dressed as Cheetah. Like, shit, we could have did a better movie on a um, beta man. <laughs> on, your, on, your, on your phone, like, Okay, no, not, not even on the phone. We could have did a Betamax. Okay. <laughs> Listen. No. VHS. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed. I'm pretty pissed at it. Um, so if you anybody wonders what we think, we did not like it. <laughs> if you did not I, I'm just gonna say, say this. I'm just gonna say this. In my um on Hot Topic, they have the the gold jumpsuit with the wings. And it's been in my cart for like almost a month. I was going to order it because my whole plan was to order it and wear it Christmas Day and watch the movie and be all extra. I'm glad I left it in my cart. And but- I was going to wear my Wonder Woman draws and watch and sit on the couch eating popcorn watch and drinking sangria watching Wonder Woman and my Wonder Woman draws. And I'm glad I didn't. I was like, I just wore regular granny panties and that's what the fuck Wonder Woman 84 deserve. Regular granny panties with a tear in them. Several tears. They deserve period panties, actually. Okay, that's a little TMI, but okay. You right, though. <laughs> Too far, too far, my bad. Too far. That's okay. Bad. Okay, excuse me. But Wonder Woman 84, because what the trailer showed versus what we saw in the movie does not match. I mean, I would rather watch Little Girl Wonder Woman all day than watch what they put together. I mean, and, and the action in the movie was lacking. And if it I'm watching a was. if I'm watching a superhero movie, I need to see fighting. That's why Superman Returns was panned because it was like, oh, there's no action. But then you do have this little tangent of people that are like, oh, this movie was so great. And I'm looking like, Patty can't get y'all no job because I hope she don't have Wonder Woman three. I hope somebody realized that they need to get another mm-hmm. writer. They are giving her so many accolades. You know, like I said, she. Equality means being mediocre and being praised for. So, you know, I guess in that sense, black women don't get that though. Black women uh, never get the opportunity for mediocrity. Okay. No. <clears throat> but and I would I would like to like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I would like to like her portrayal as Wonder Woman. And I think she's doing the best she can with 
what she's given. But I'm looking like, but I'm looking like I grew up watching Linda Carter though. And, and, and I, cause today I was like, you know, looking at stuff and I was looking at interviews from Linda Carter and I did not know until earlier today that the original Steve died in March. He died of cancer, not COVID, but he, he passed away in March. And it was like, man, I, I missed that. But, you know, we lost so many people this year. Um, but I was like, the way they portrayed that relationship on TV to where it was like, you know, Steve thought he was smarter than Diana, but he paid deference to <clears throat> Wonder Woman. When Wonder Woman showed up, he knew that the day was going to be saved. But it's like in the movies, it's, to- it's a total reverse. It's like Wonder Woman has to be saved. And why are you being saved by a regular human? And in this movie, why are you being saved by a goddamn ghost? <laughs> Was I yelling? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. And, and the other thing is, I don't know if I mentioned this, but even oh i said it at the beginning girl i'm drinking water why can't i remember i think i said at the beginning even like cheetah's origins was based in a man yeah did I that? is that something we talked about privately or did i say that at the beginning of you this say that at the beginning and i mean and cheetah is you know it, like i said i i read the comics i you know cheetah is one of wonder woman's biggest foes <clears throat> i don't it's read like, the comics I would never I, have guessed that shit. I, I know. Because that was watching like, this movie, you would never know because they started out like being friends. That shit didn't happen in the comics. Like, even, have you even, ever seen even if it becomes starts off as friends and then becomes mortal enemies, like the cheetah part? First off, I didn't know that that was supposed to be a cheetah. Uh, <laughs> you, thought it, you thought it was cats. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know. Because I, I don't read the comic books and I haven't watched the Wonder Woman um uh cartoon in a minute and i was gonna watch the wonder woman cartoon but it was like paying for it whereas on a normal day i would have paid for it I, the only reason i wanted to watch the wonder woman cartoon movie was because wonder woman 84 was so shitty i wanted a good one and i was like that's basically wonder woman 84 forcing me to pay for the regular wonder woman because it was so shitty and it, i just was like no so i just went and watched constantine like, DC, um, you nothing else from me Fuck pretty me. much pretty much <laughs> I was like, no dc you can kiss the entirety of my ass. Um, but like just based, she was like, I want to be the top of the line predator. I want to be number one predator. So then when they show uh so when they showed her, I was like, so what's that? Is that like a combination of like a hyena and a top? Like I was trying to figure it out. I was like, <laughs> she, she said something the world's never seen. And I was like, Oh, okay. So, like, I thought she was gonna have then. I thought she was like a combination of creatures. I was like, but all she doing is like jumping and scratching, though. So I don't understand. So I was confused it um, because I don't watch the I don't watch the comics because I don't read the comics, and so I was literally going by that. And I was like, it wasn't until you like cheetah was. I was like, that was a cheetah girl. Okay, then I didn't know. I didn't know. Skill me. Yeah. Skill me. Yeah. I mean because. <laughs> You know, it's like, um, like I said, when I went to a, a local comic event here in Charlotte and me and Erica went, I was Wonder Woman. She was Cheetah. It was like all the comic fans were like, oh, my God, you guys are friends. Oh, this is so crazy. Blah, blah, blah. So we went to the comic book store in town. Heroes aren't hard to find. And we were looking for like the original Cheetah comics. And like those things are like. You gotta have some, some money, money to get number one where where she appeared, and the whole thing is when you look at you know the the source material because all these comic book movies have source material. So and let me I ask you it. this: Do you yeah. know? Just as a quick comparative question, and then I'm looking at the time. But um, I you don't read any Marvel, right? I read some Marvel. So, do you know how close, Mar- how much Marvel uses source versus DC? Marvel movies use a little more source than DC. DC, I, I really 
feel like DC stands for don't give a shit with shit spilt with a C. Um, <laughs> because even the whole, you know, I, and I read the article that you sent me about people talking about this, this, the the Lord, uh, Matthew Lord was close to comics. Yeah, no, nah, he wasn't. I mean, I'm looking like, I was trying to look up the person who wrote it. I'm like, what comic book did you read? What comic book did you read? Because, nah. Because I, I feel like they were trying to wrap a message in who he was. And I get it. You know, all of the comic book movies do wrap a message in stuff. I get it. But what they did was, you know, they took too much away from who these villain characters were. And DC tries to stuff too many villains into a movie. Give me one good villain. Just give me one good villain. One time. Mm -hmm. But I'm no longer in this abusive relationship with DC. I'm not going to see nothing else. Even if I am streaming it for free. Nope. I'm done. <laughs> and I'm the DC girl. I was going to say. You, you've been you've been holding tight. I've been holding tight. I own the Justice League on DVD. I mean, I'm I'm ashamed to admit it, but I, and I'll even go further. I have Batman versus Superman on DVD. Oh, you should never admit that out loud. No, but I, um, let, let's wrap this up because I'm I let's just say I'm pissed. I wanted to share it, and I'm lazy. I didn't want to type it. Um, and uh, I called Sharice right after. Well, I texted Sharice and I could tell, I could tell what she was thinking because I was like, wait a minute, what the wonder woman a pilot? And she was like, just call me when you finish. <laughs> because I gotta share something with you guys. I was taught in my friendship with Miss King over here. Spoilers are a character flaw. I saw the movie. When she texted me, I had already seen the movie. So she's asking me these questions, and I'm like, No, I wasn't asking about the movie. No, I, you were, I mean, you were asking about the pilot. So I told you about the pilot or whatever. But I knew that I wanted to say more that oh. could have been a spoiler alert. I didn't know where you were in the movie. Like, has she seen the whole thing, or is she just at this part? Yeah, just call me when you finish. Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to. I, I was just looking for, <laughs> yep, she was yeah, in the comic She was. Case, whatever. Yeah, because girl and it's super friends. And it's super friends. Yeah. I mean, I know she I mean, and I, I she I knew she was a pilot in the TV. I knew she was a pilot everywhere I had seen her. I was like, well, maybe that is it in the comics too? Maybe I'm like, maybe they're going from like old sort. Let me not pull this down too much, but it's be titty and it has to go on OnlyFans. $14.99. But but um no Wonder Woman absolutely deserves better. Wonder Woman absolutely should have been given a better treatment. Um I think um Patty Jenkins should no longer be given an opportunity to write and direct Wonder Woman, or maybe direct. Like, I, you can direct, but you cannot write it. You cannot no. write it. Uh, I mean, there, are, there are too many talented writers out there who understand and respect the, the canon. And I mean, you can make changes. You can add certain things that the general public, people who don't read the comic, like every comic book movie does not have to, it, it needs to be rooted in the it's comic the history, balance of don't shit on the people, don't shit on your fans, but also, you know, bring in new fans, bring, bring in new fans. And exactly. I'm not even, even like, obviously, if you go from canon, you know, you won't fall into these mistakes. But I'm like, you know, just on its base, just on its foundational base, that you cannot, that she is struggling to refuses to will not or has not created a uh, a woman superhero you know in script form obviously she already exists that doesn't have an origin some parts of her origin within a regular ass human man that she is not allowed she is not allowed 
that what she is basically saying, my earrings say, I am enough. She refuses yeah. to believe that Wonder Woman is enough. Absolutely. And I mean, and I will be the first to say that when I saw Captain Marvel, I was like, eh, eh, eh. This is a Samuel L. Jackson, um, you know, origin story. But what I did enjoy about Captain Marvel was that she was not tied to being romantically involved with somebody that that made her do certain things that did not make sense. Wonder Woman being so attached to Steve made her do things that did not make sense. Yeah. I, yeah. I did, you know, Captain Marvel, I, and the reason why I'm mad about Captain Marvel is because, you know, I, like I said, I, I study comics. I know that Captain Marvel was actually based on my favorite person in the world, Pam Greer. And they made the comic designer change it. Fuckers. Because Pam Greer deserves her own. Oh, that was actually my potential. Did you see the note? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> so, yeah. That was my closing line that I said five minutes ago before you start talking about Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> and that on was, that note, you were supposed to just say like a couple more words specific to Wonder Woman. So do you have a, a, a couple words specific to Wonder Woman to close? Uh, fuck Pam Jenkins. Better. Good night. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys who uh, joined in with us uh, on that. And the title says it all. Wonder Woman deserves better. She didn't get it the first time. Uh, I will say this. The one time that Wonder Woman I thought was was good was in Man uh, is, uh, Batman versus Superman. Superman. When she because they, they brought her in with a vengeance and then they fucked her the rest of the way. Like basically that 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 five minutes of of the Batman Superman movie. That's what got us so stoked for Wonder Woman. They gave her a great, and that she she came in to save the day because she's a fucking god. Exactly, she saved not only the strongest man in DC, she saved the smartest man in DC, who is Batman. I don't care what the rest of y'all say, but she saved the two most iconic heroes in DC in that movie. Mm -hmm. And then this is the she shit we get. Exactly. She, she deserves, deserves better. So um hope y'all have a good night. Thank you for coming in with us. And uh, you know, in case you didn't catch on, uh, we didn't like what Patty did. We don't like Patty's role. We don't like the writers of Wonder Woman. We did not like Wonder Woman 84. Uh the world goes round because people have different opinions. I've seen people said I loved it, and I was like, What? <laughs> hey. If if you're here and you enjoyed it, kudos to you. That's that's fine. I didn't, I didn't get that it, from any of the comments. I didn't get that. From I didn't. Any I comments. didn't either. But I mean, Everybody anybody has, that may be watching that didn't comment, it's fine if you liked it. We just didn't. Yeah. Everybody have a blessed and safe. Well, 2020 and 2021, huh? All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.